Okay, so I went ahead and prepped my control panel. As you can see, I've got my 90 degree liquid tight connectors and I've ran my two cables. This is the 18 gauge five conductor wire. And then this is the 16 gauge eight conductor. And all the wire numbers are labeled. And I've also tinned the ends of the wires. Now what I'd like to do first is solder these connections on my DIN connector. And the way I've got this laid out is just how it sits. So I'll be using pin 1, pin 4, and pin 3. This will be our 12 volt. 5 volt and are common. This is actually the front side so you have to be careful to make sure that you solder this pin with the blue wire so when you flip it over it'll actually be this pin. And these are pretty small so just take your time and make these connections. doesn't take much okay I haven't melted it I think I'll be good okay there's this one and then our next one up is our green wire common that should go right beside the blue wire here Okay, and then our next wire, our last wires are 12 volts and that'll be directly across from the 5 volt and that's going to be, it'll be brown instead of orange. Okay, I think we got those three connected. Okay, so what I've done is I've just taken some electrical tape, cut some little strips and wrapped around each individual wire just to make sure that they, are, that they don't touch. And then I'm just going to kind of go around this just to make sure. I don't have any issues inside this box. Um, these are going to be for a touch probe or any other accessory later on down the road. So I just want to make sure that nothing touches, nothing shorts out, messes up my breakup board. And then I'm just going to put one right here on these wire ties just to keep these together. Like so. I think that'll be 
Good. Okay. The other two wires from that five conductor cable, this red and white wire, actually go to my e-stop right here. I'm going to go ahead and connect that now. These two wires return. This is a common and then this is from pin 10 on my breakout board, my C11GS. I'm going to go ahead and connect those to my e-stop. And that way I can go ahead and button this panel up once I get all these wires on and I don't have to come back in here. I will talk about it again when we start wiring up the breakout board. But I want to go ahead and get it wired now. Okay, those two are connected. That's it. Now we can go ahead and connect some of these other wires. Alright, so the first wire we want to connect is 102 and that also goes to our e-stop and it goes on the other set of contacts. 102 is our orange wire. Okay, got that connected. 102. Now next, we need to go from the other side of our e-stop and also we need to run a jumper up to our push button start. So let me get a jumper made to go from here to here. So I've got the jumper made up and we need wire 103 which is our blue wire. We're going to connect it to our e-stop and we're going to also run a jumper. Okay, and the next jumper is going to go over to our push button power on switch. Okay. Next, we have wire 104. It's going to go up to our the other side of our start switch. So here's 104. And then next we have to run a jumper also from 104 over to our key switch. So let me get that jumper. Okay. Loosen this up and put our jumper in. Alright. And then that will go over to our key switch. To disassemble our, this disables our VFD. Alright. And then the other side of our key switch, since we don't have our door switch hooked up, it's wire 106, 107. And that is our green wire. Okay. And we'll see what we have left here. Okay, so all we have left now to connect is our 
two rocker switches one for our coolant and one for our computer now the way these rocker switches work they're illuminated so there's a little LED or SMD inside there and it comes on whenever there is a load so the way they're connected pin A is 110 volts coming in then it's switched and then the center pin here goes out to your load and then on this gold colored pin you need to have a neutral and that will allow the switch to operate and the light to come on now what I did was I installed crimp on spade connectors uh, these switches I don't know what how well they'll hold up and so I didn't want to have to solder them and unsolder them so I have my neutral and I just connected a jumper and we'll just connect it on the gold colored pin the pin labeled in and then next our center pin is going out so this top switch here is our coolant and our coolant is wire 108 and then our computer is wire 110 and that goes to the bottom switch to turn the computer on and again this goes to the center terminal and then our power coming in is wire 120 and again I have a jumper and that goes on pin A so that wraps up the wiring for the control panel I'm going to close this up and get it all buttoned up. Okay, well that completes our last 110 volt circuit. That was FU3. That was a 1 amp circuit breaker uh, for our control circuit. Up to our control panel, we have our uh, power on start button, our spindle lockout key switch we have our e-stop our coolant on switch and our computer on switch and our accessory DIN connector so for an updated wiring diagram be sure to stop by the Dropbox link listed in the description and pick up your wiring diagrams. In the next video we will start wiring our stepper motor drivers for our X, Y, and Z axis. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and most importantly be safe.